In this video, you're going to learn how to graph parabolas, quadratic functions, using this table method. A lot of teachers teach it this way, so I'm going to show you this method. It's a real quick and easy way to do it, but the key is to find the vertex of the parabola, knowing what form the parabola is in and how to find that vertex. So let's go through three examples. The first one, y equals 2x squared minus 4x plus 3, is in this form right here. And to find the vertex, you're going to want to memorize this formula, x equals negative b divided by 2a to find the x-coordinate of the vertex. You can then put that back in for x to find the y-coordinate. That's the toughest part about this problem which is really not that tough, and then we're going to find out the additional points to get a good graph. So if we do a, b, and c, the opposite of b, negative b, would be positive 4 over 2 times a, which is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this vertex in the middle here, so x comma y. If I put 1 back in, I get 1 squared is 1, times 2 is 2, minus 4 is negative 2, plus 3 is 1. So our vertex is going to be at 1 comma 1 right there. Okay, now keep in mind that when you're graphing parabolas, they're symmetric about the vertex. So if you fold it over, it's going to match with itself. So I can draw in the axis of symmetry right through that x-coordinate of the vertex. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick points on either side uh, of this axis of symmetry. So for example, I could pick 0 and negative 1, or I could pick 2 and 3. So let's go ahead and put 0 in. If we put 0 in, we get 3. And it's going to be the same thing on the other side. So I know this is also 3. Say I put in a negative 1. That's going to be negative 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2. Uh, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. So that's going to be 6 plus 3 is 9. And this is also going to be 9 because it's the same on both sides. So let's go ahead and plot those now. So we have a 0, 3. And this one's also over here at 3. And then I could do negative 1, 9. It's kind of going off my graph a little bit. So let's just go with these three points right there. And we've got a pretty good uh, sketch of our parabola. Okay, let's look at a different example. Letter B, y equals negative 1 half times x plus 2 to the quantity squared minus 1. So this is in this form right here. This is referred to as the vertex form. And our vertex is going to be this point h comma k. So you can see right away our vertex is going to be not positive 2. It's the opposite. See how it's x minus h? So it's actually going to be negative 2, negative 1. Just remember the one that's grouped with the x. It's the opposite sign. This one's going to be the same sign. So that means our vertex is here at negative 2, negative 1. Here's our axis of symmetry going right through the x-coordinate of the vertex. And we want to pick some points on either side, right? So I could pick, let's say, for example, negative 3 and negative 4, or negative 1 and 0. Let's go ahead and put in um, negative 1. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. 1 squared is 1. Times negative 1 half is negative 1 half. Minus 1 is negative 1 and a half, or I'll just write negative 1.5. It's going to be the same on the other side. If we do 0, we get 2 squared is 4, times negative 1 half is negative 2, minus 1 is negative 3, so this would also be negative 3. So if we go ahead and plot these points now, we get uh, negative 3, negative 1.5, which is right here, and negative 1 is also negative 1.5. 0 is down here at negative 3, and same thing over here at negative 3, since it's symmetric. And then you can see we've got a pretty good sketch of our parabola. Okay, last example, y equals 3x squared plus 2. This is in this form here, y equals ax squared plus c. And what the c does is it picks the graph and it moves it up and down. It's not shifting it left or right. So that means our vertex is just going to be shifted up two units from the origin. And our vertex is going to be right there at uh, 0, 2. Notice I'm putting the vertex in the middle of the table here so that I can pick points on either side, 1 and negative 1. 2 and negative 2. If I put 1 in, I get 5. Okay, and if I put 2 in, I get 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 is 14. So both of these are 14. So if we plot from the origin here, we've got negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Positive 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And these other ones are kind of going off the graph because it goes up steeper and steeper. But you can see we have a pretty good graph of our parabola. If you want to see more examples, more in-depth examples graphing other types of parabolas, check out the video that I did right there, and I'll see you over in that video.